Hello, it's Alina from Xactimate Mastery here with today's Tuesday Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about standard versus average grade line items and how you may be leaving money on the table without even knowing it. Let's go take a look. So here we are in the estimate, and I'm just going to go over some of the line items that I more commonly see this happening, and it seems to be more and more often that this is uh, going on in the estimates that I've been reviewing lately, so I wanted to show you guys why this is incorrect and how you can prove using Xactimate that it's the wrong line item. So we're going to start off at the front elevation here. I've got an overhead door that they are replacing, and you can see um, it says standard grade, all right? So in Xactimate, You've got average grade, you've got high grade, and then you've got standard grade. Okay, so let me give you an example. I would say that average grade is like your Cheerios at Walmart, but the standard grade are going to be that just a step down, those big bags of cereal, Walmartos or whatever they're called, that's going to be your standard grade line items. They're more common in manufactured housing, not that I'm saying that manufactured housing is subpar, but there are different types of materials that are used, um, like cabinetry um, and other fixtures that will be standard grade that are used more like in a manufactured housing situation. Here today we're looking at a garage door, and I'm going to go ahead and click for detail and take a look at it. So you've got a standard grade uh, garage door here, and it gives you a little bit of a description. If you go to the click for detail, now here's where I did that. You just click on the picture or click on click for detail. It gives you a couple of pictures here showing you what um, you know what what kind of material we're looking at and uh, so on and so forth. So it just says it includes the door, the track, the hardware. There you are. Quality is non-insulated. 24 or 25 gauge steel frame construction with a raised panel design. So that tells you if you go and you get a picture of the door and it has a wood grain design, not just raised panel, but a wood grain design, that's going to be more of a standard tarp door. Also, this door is non-insulated. So where I live, I live in Utah right now, um, a lot of the doors are insulated and that's more of an average typical situation. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the overhead door average and just see what they are working with here on the uh, click for detail. So as you can see, again, clicking for detail helps save us. We've got the wood grain raised panel design with the insulation. So that there tells you that's more of a, a average or common type door um, for, well, for this area anyways, and uh, you can go from there and show the adjuster this is why we need this type of door. And you've got about $90 difference between the two, which is quite substantial. The other place that we've been seeing this is in carpet and laminate, okay? So carpet and laminate also have a quality section in their click for detail that can be very important and uh, can show you how you can prove that Xactimate you need the, the average line item, not the standard grade, right? So if we click for detail here, you can see that the quality section says it's a thin pile density. So this, is, this isn't your average pile. This is a thinner pile, uh, maybe some office type carpet or, or something like that. It's a thin type carpet. If you go to the average carpet, let's just pull that up here. You're going to be looking at a... Da, 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 average pile density. Okay, so there's no reason for it to be, you know, shorter or thinner than uh, average, right? It's an average home with average style carpeting, and it deserves the average line item. So, uh, on quite a few estimates this past week, this has been going on with us. We've been getting the standard grade, and as you can see here, that's about two hundred dollars difference, uh, maybe even more than that. So it's a big deal to. Just pay attention and look out for these things here. Uh, also with our laminate flooring, it's it's hard without pulling up a piece um, to see, but it does give you the quality of what the standard or uh, yeah the standard grade is. And then let's just take a look at the average grade, which is of course going to be more standard, and that gives you an up to five sixteenth uh, plank there, and it does include the the underlayment. All right, so. Just taking a look at those two line items, you can see that uh, there's a lot of money being left on the table, almost a thousand bucks 
Oh, 500 bucks. Sorry, not wearing my glasses. So lots of money can go missing if you don't pay attention to these just simple looking at the grade uh, type of type of issues here. And um, hope you'll take a look at that. And it's been happening on um, doors, like exterior doors, storm doors, those types of things. We've been seeing this as well. So just keep an eye out and make sure you can prove that the quality is, you know, like, kind, and quality. That's always important. That, that phrase right there, like, kind, and quality quality of what the insured already has existing on the home because that's our job to indemnify them back to the condition before the loss. Uh, actually, it's not our job to do that. It's the insurance company's job to do that, but you get what I'm saying there, that if you use that like, kind, and quality uh, verbiage, it seems to jive and kind of get their mind on the same track as yours in uh, proving this stuff. So, yep, take a look at that. Try that out. Let me know how it works for you. If you would, hit subscribe for me if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you want these tips and tricks delivered into your inbox, go to www.exactimatemastery.com and sign up for our Tuesday Tech Tips there. This has been Alina Wilson, and I'll see you next week.